Our next guest is as cool as they come on land or sea. He is captain of a cruise ship on the new series, Dr. Odyssey. Happy to see you, Robbie. Mm -hmm. You too, Craig. Welcome. Oh, this is Avery, our nurse How practitioner. Hi. And you must be the famous Brian. Ah, we're almost famous. <laughs> Brave man. It's a hell of a job taking care of this one. And a thankless one, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> better you than me. <laughs> I'm honored to meet my brother's better half, and clearly his better looking half. Ha, <laughs> well, not quite half. Hello, boys. Watch Dr. Odyssey Thursday nights at 9 here on ABC. And the next day on Hulu, please welcome Don Johnson. <laughs> A good looking man you are. I mean, oh, really. God bless you. Yeah. I, if, if, if you're asking me on a date, oh, I accept. <laughs> you mean Stamos, the three, another menage yeah. a trois there. We'll just, we'll replicate the show. We'll I was just, learning yeah. things today, and I learned that you and John David's dad, Denzel, are like golf buddies, right? Well, uh, I don't remember playing golf with Oh, really? Okay. Denzel, but it could have happened. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're friendly. We're friends. Oh, so. interesting. And he's amazing. Yeah, he's yeah. So he's somebody that you. So this is not like a situation where you've known him since he was a little kid or anything like Who, that. No, John David. John David. No, yeah. No. All right. I would have ratted him out otherwise. Is it true? I've read this on a number of occasions that Denzel Washington auditioned to play Tubbs on Miami Vice. If I say yes, is that a better answer? One hundred percent. Uh, I don't know that to be the case, but it, it very well could be. Okay, all right. So these are sort of maybe answers. <laughs> Is there anyone like who did not get that role that you, comes to mind for I, you? I did audition with um, Andy Garcia. Really? Mm -hmm. in wow. Mi in Miami, and um, uh, it was in this little video studio in Coconut Grove or something like that. And um, Andy came in, and to this day, you know, we did a book club together. And uh, Andy's, oh, yeah, got, yeah. Andy's got the funniest line. He said, because when I went to Rome to do the recent uh, installment of Book Club with Jane Fonda and Diane Keaton and uh, um, um, Murphy Brown, help me out here. Uh, oh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Candace Bergen. Candace Bergen. <laughs> Only known her for 40 years. <laughs> um, um, anyway, I, I show up in, uh, in uh, Rome and uh, walk out onto the deck where everybody's gathered, and Andy goes, we're still on the menu. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this. You know, your daughter, Dakota, lives next door to me. Yes, I'm aware of that. And she... <laughs> disturbing. What was Dakota like growing up? Uh, Dakota was... Um, she was a very uh, uh, eventful child. She... she if, if I would leave my phone laying around anywhere, just kind of unattended, she would get on the phone and uh, somehow get into my contacts and send obscene messages to random people. <laughs> and I would, oh, oh, and also the other thing is you wanted to be very mindful about leaving blank sheets of paper laying around on your desk or stuff like that because she would promptly draw a large penis on it. <laughs> I did that to my dad, too. Oh, well, yes. And that's my, why your neighbors. My son is doing it to me. Yeah, maybe that's the community we moved into. <laughs> yes. So she told us that um, when you, growing up, your neighbor was Hunter S. Thompson, the writer. Who, mm -hmm. um, and I wonder what, first of all, what it was like to be Hunter Thompson's neighbor, because well, those who know who <laughs> Hunter Thompson is, I think, would find that to be exciting and potentially disturbing. <laughs> Well, we were just out of mortar range. Ah, uh, good. So that's always good when <laughs> Hunter's involved. Um, yes, Hunter. <laughs> Hunter was my best friend for like 25 years. Wow. And um, he would, if I had a sick animal or anything like that, he'd come over and sleep in the stall with the animal. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was. He was an amazing fellow, and he, like Dakota, he would always pull pranks and stuff. Yeah, you know, Johnny Depp told us that he was, and I don't remember the story exactly. Well, maybe you could fill us in. There was just some situation where they called you over to the house. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I called over to Hunter's to, okay. to uh, see if he had any weed. Of course, he had. You know, <laughs> you know I think a ton <laughs> out back, and uh, 
So I said, listen, I, I'm, I'm going to come over and uh, get some weed because I've got a little group of people here. And, and um, so he said, yeah, sure, come on over. And so when I, I didn't go, I sent my assistant over who <laughs> drives up into Hunter's driveway. And Johnny Depp and Hunter were hiding behind Hunter's car with shotguns loaded with blanks. And my assistant got out of the car, and they both jumped out and said, die, mother. <laughs> and blasted. And my assistant, God bless him, he peed his pants, right? Did he really? Oh, yeah. really? Wouldn't Why? you? Yes, at <laughs> least. That's the least thing I would do in my pants. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that assistant still with you? Oh, no. Is that assistant? <laughs> Is that assistant still with us? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still with us. I, yeah. I'm not sure in what wow. kind of mental condition. This show, Dr. Odyssey, is very popular. I, I'm sure you are hearing about this all the time. You play the captain I am. on the ship, which is, is it fun to be uh, even a pretend captain? Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, you're wearing the outfit. You got the whole hey, thing. Man. <laughs> People do what I say. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Captains do have a lot of authority. Like, captains can arrest people. Mm -hmm. Captains can perform uh, marriages, uh, like yep. legal ceremonies. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And um, we, we don't, I, I, so far, I haven't gotten off the ship. Is that right? Yeah. So I, I, uh, I think the, the. All your scenes are on the ship. Yeah, I think the captain goes down with the ship, not on the ship. Right, yeah. <laughs> you, so you. <laughs> but wait, that are you guys. Deep. Are you guys on a ship, like actual an actual ship? Paramount is our ship. I see. Yeah. So it's a big studio. The entire studio of Paramount. And it's made to look like it looks like a ship. Oh yeah, we're good at it. <laughs> so there's and no we have, a, we have another set that's uh, the the Leisure Deck set that's uh, north of um, of L.A. about 250 miles. It seems like. But Would it be easier to just be on a ship? Until you had to reposition it. Yeah, yeah I guess that's... That's a half a day. Let's move this down here and turn, turn it around and... Come There's, um, you know, now, I just if I could get the conversation back to penises for a second. <laughs> um, I'm always available. In the pilot, in the pilot episode of the show, uh, there was a broken... One of the passengers had a broken penis, and, uh, and there had, it was an operation. <laughs> yes. And then in tonight's show, somebody's penis got stuck in somebody else. I was not in that scene. You were not in that scene. <laughs> I know nothing about it. Can we look forward to more penises as the season progresses? Is this something that... Uh... <laughs> well, well, I, I'm, not a, I'm not allowed to divulge any future episodes, mm -hmm. but, you know, you got to... If it's playing, you got to stay with it. <laughs> you must... You must get offered all kinds of, of things, you know? And, like, so... I would imagine, right? I mean, you get offered a lot of different TV shows. Yeah. What may, how do you decide, like, which one you're going to do? Um, hmm, that's, an, uh, that's a very good question. You know, it, it's, it's more about who I'm working with. I see. Than it is about the, the material. And it's about... And television, as you know, is a bring it and bring it now business. And uh, so when I, when I look at the, the project, I look at the... the Character, of course, and then I look at the uh, the people that are involved, and then I try to I try to drink that all in and and see if I fit. Okay, you know. All right. And then and if I feel that if I feel like that I can be uh, contribute and be of value, then I'm most likely. And if they tell you like John Stamos is going to be your brother, then you're like, okay, yeah, I can do that. He if that's next week's episode, and yes, you must watch that. <laughs> John Pe Stamos penis? John Stamos's penis? John Stamos takes it out. He does. Wow. That's, you know what? That's, that's big. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's very good to see you. Thank good you for being you. here. Dr. Odyssey, you can watch it Thursday nights, 9 o'clock here on ABC. Stream it the next day on Hulu. Don Johnson, everybody. We'll be back.